about the weather. Exactly, yeah. So I promised you this now for about two weeks, that mm -hmm. by this weekend we'd finally start to warm up. Okay. It would finally be consistent, and it's actually panning out. Woohoo! All right, so that means for that. not only are we going to hit what's average, but finally exceed it for a couple of days. And I think it's generally consistent. So this is kind of the last really chilly day before we begin this uphill climb. We're still going to have two more below average days, but they're getting milder and milder with every passing day. And then by the time we hit week's end, a couple of days in the 70s. Just wait. So bear with me through this. We'll start things off with a quick view at what we're expecting for the rest of today, which is a chill in the air. You know, normally we'd be in the low 60s. And granted, it is just an average. So y you do tend to take that with a little bit of a grain of salt because you're talking about an entire month's worth of numbers and then averaging them out over time. Uh, but regardless, we're still 15 below average. We should be a little bit warmer than this, and we're just not. It's a very chilly afternoon. We had a lot of clouds over most of the region throughout the morning. The sun's actually broken through quite nicely, but here in our live neighborhood network, still looking kind of dreary out at Ocean City, though that sun is definitely reflecting off of the pillar here and elsewhere. It's a lot brighter in other locations too, but it will not necessarily stay that way. And here's why we've got some wet weather lifting through. It is coming through primarily as some very light snow through the southwest corner of Pennsylvania. And by the time this is reaching us late today and especially tonight, we're going to also have this mix. So you see right on the tail end of the loop here along 83. We're starting to see some of that rain mix in now that the temperature is climbing a little bit in these areas. But by the time it's reaching us, it'll be primarily either snow or some rain. What are we talking about with this? I think, frankly, guys, it's more of a are you kidding me, Mother Nature, as opposed to a real issue. So some light rain showers will mix in with some wet snow, primarily again later into the evening and overnight. The Poconos really stand the best chance for any kind of accumulation out of this. And even then, it's a slushy coating. Maybe you see a minor dusting on unpaved surfaces into tomorrow. But we we take you all the way to 8 p.m. This particular model doesn't bring anything in until past that point. So through the overnight, as the temperature is falling to its lowest level, you are going to have enough chill in the air to support some snow. But now the ground's getting, even despite the recent chill, the ground is getting warmer, the sun angle is getting higher, and that isn't going to allow this to stick and accumulate very easily. But even as we're waking up dark and early tomorrow, there could be still be some snow that's falling, though it would again predominantly lead to some damp roadways and sidewalks. It should not be more than a nuisance system. And then gradually skies begin to clear back out again and by five six o'clock we are generally in the clear region wide. The good news is this is the final burst of that chill until we start to see the thermometer rising here with the jet stream lifting off to the north. So of course, with the jet stream lifting, that's going to allow milder air to funnel in, and that's what really gets us on this path. For now, you're not even at 40 degrees here in the city. It really is chilly for mid-April anyway, so you still do need a heavier coat walking out the door, but at least it's not too windy. That's one thing we've got working for us. As I mentioned, though, good things come to those who wait, and boy, do we deserve this, right? A couple of days into the 70s here, Friday and Saturday really just look like gems. Guys, again, 70s, by this point, you're talking May-like standards here, so we'll actually be ahead of schedule with the warmth, and my goodness, will it feel good. It's going to be crazy so this weekend. So excited. <laughs> Everybody's going to be, be wild. No yeah. kidding. Thank you, Katie. You're welcome. Well,